love and betrayal, greed and murder. It's just set in this interesting world of contrasting ideologies and of what's right and wrong, and has a great philosophy about it. Game of Thrones is about power struggles in a fantasy kingdom called Westeros. And it's about the struggle for the Iron Throne, which is the seat of power in this kingdom. There's a war coming, Ned. I don't know when, I don't know who we'll be fighting, but it's coming. This is a story that's so rich, and there's so many characters, and uh, it is um, you know, so many different viewpoints and narratives all woven together. At the core of it, there, there's a, a conflict for power between two great houses initially, House Stark and House Lannister. The old truth that power corrupts, I think, is very valid, and it shows in this series. You see characters that come into power and how they change. Meanwhile, outside the Seven Kingdoms, two great threats are rising, one across the sea in the exiled Targaryen siblings, and another one beyond the wall, which is the boundary of the Seven Kingdoms, where a supernatural threat is stirring. It's very different from anything that's been done. I can't think of another fantasy which is as dark as this one is. Every single character is incredibly complex. You think you know them, you think you've got them pegged as uh, what they seemingly are, but they really aren't. Is there someone in your service whom you trust completely? Yes. The wiser answer was no, my lord. It's not a good guy's, bad guy's story. It's a story where everybody is pursuing their own interest and everybody is following their own code, and it's about those interests and those ethics coming into conflict with each other. It's very dense and it's very multi-layered. I think that's what I find quite intriguing and quite fascinating about this thing. You're just a soldier, aren't you? You take your orders and you carry on. I was also trained to kill my enemies, your grace. As was I. It's one of the fun things about this show is that we get to make it up. This is a fantasy series, and, and that gives us um, a lot of freedom. We're not queuing to any particular historical period. It's a very broad base of, of influence that we feel has been brought together to build an organic world that we haven't seen before. This interesting combination of a very real world with an overlay of fantasy, and I think it's something that you see nowhere else on television currently. It's just the best story. And there's so many twists and turns. When you think you've got it figured, it completely it changes its mind. You follow it and you get excited by it. There's real emotion and there's real relationships that you can understand and relate to. It's just brilliant. It's a wonderful story. What do you know about fear? Fear is for the winter, when the snows fall a hundred feet deep. Fear is for the long night when the white walkers move through the woods, when the sun hides for years, and children are born and live and die, all in darkness. That is the time for fear, my lord. 